Today, I'm gonna make, you and I are gonna make the chickpea stew, the stew it is called, my version. I've made this a couple times. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Ready? Let's go. Make, six, grow, cook. Garden fork. Chickpeas, turmeric, yogurt, coconut milk, ginger, onion, garlic, bag of spinach. So when people say medium onion, what is that? Um, you don't need a giant onion, I don't think. Um, about, and then how much ginger? How do you measure ginger? I'm gonna take about two inches of this. Big question for you, do you take the skin off or do you chop it with the skin on? I wanna know what you think. Well, hello. Oh, we're cooking, so look what comes. Oh, oh. I don't think you guys can eat chickpeas, so uh, I'll work on something else for you. I just made a dog treat video, actually, and Hen, oh, you're Charlie. Charlie really liked them, Henry liked them too. These are pretty good. Did you like my dog treats? Exciting. All right, I'll link to that below in the show notes. Dog treat video. They're healthy. Right, my little girl? Oops, went away. So, I don't know the answer to this, so I want your help if you can. What is the deal with people saying to start your onions or whatever, sauteing food in an extra virgin olive oil versus just a regular cooking oil? Because here's, here's my thinking, and you tell me I'm probably wrong, but extra virgin olive oils have uh, subtle, uh, delicate aromas and flavors, and when you heat this, heat, there goes my, yeah, how old am I? Um, you ruin all that. Isn't all that flavor and stuff ruined when you heat up an extra virgin olive oil? Couldn't you just cook with regular olive oil or regular vegetable oil and then use this as a finishing thing? Because we're going to use both these. Stick around for the end um, because you're going to be surprised what we're going to do. But um, tell me, I'm going to start with this. I am par excellente at um, burning onions and garlic because I've got the pot too hot and the oil's too hot. So after you've warmed up your pot, hot pot, cold oil, um, turn it down, cook this down. This in here, clean out my dishes first, okay? Okay, we're gonna drain these. Oh. But we're gonna save the liquid, okay? Very important, save the liquid. Those are a little overcooked, but that's okay. That goes in there. All right, I forgot, I forgot to put in the turmeric before the chickpeas, so do that. Turmeric, toast the oil, onion, turmeric mixture, then the chickpeas, so I'll just put this in. So like a heaping teaspoonful, like that. And I'm gonna get it over near the oniony part in there. And I just wanna just kind of toast that, warm it up, mix it up with the oil a little bit. And then mix the whole thing through. So here's my take on Allison's recipe. Um, I actually save the broth from the chickpea can, which I think is delicious. It's also called aquafaba. It can make, um, a chiffon, it's it's kind of a superfood for making all sorts of cool stuff in restaurants nowadays. So I'm gonna use this instead of chicken broth. But like Allison, I'm a big fan of coconut milk. Now, when you open this up, okay, you can shake this up ahead of time and that'll mix the milk and the fat. But if you just open it, which is I always do because I forget um, to shake it up, don't freak out. But okay, how to do this delicately with the camera on. Um, there is um, coconut fat on the top, which is totally okay. We're gonna, just gonna scoop this out, 
in the pot, okay? This, to me, is a healthy fat. So you let me know what you think in the comments. But a full fat coconut milk, much like Allison says, so. You're back. I know. Set aside some of the chickpeas as whole chickpeas. Uh, drain this ideally. Well, I'll drain it like that. Save, okay? Cool, huh? So we're gonna simmer this like 20-ish minutes, but a cool thing that I learned from Allison is occasionally stir it and try and mash up the chickpeas against the wall of the pot here because what that does is it crushes a bunch of them and it thickens up the soup into what she calls the stew. You could also um, do a stick blender. So Garden Fork is not just cooking. I'm kind of like all over the place. That's how my mind works and that's how I make videos. I'm all about, hey, let's try this and see what happens. And that extends to the bigger world of Eric. It's kind of eclectic DIY is what I call it. Um, one day we can be cooking, the next day we can be cutting down a tree. Or doing arts and crafts. Anyway, if you wanna subscribe, it's kind of all over the place, but please do. Then also hit the notification bell so YouTube tells you when I have a new video. So with about six minutes to go, I've been um, kind of mashing the chickpeas up against the wall here, like Allison says. And I've opted not to use the stick blender. Um, the bamboo stick works pretty good. I'm a big fan of the bag spinach. It's, it, yeah, it'd be great if you bought it, you know, and you could wash it and all that, but on a weeknight, which is kind of a weeknight dinner to me, this, done, right? It's hard to do with one hand and hold the camera, sorry. Lot of spinach but that'll cook down don't worry I, I hope it's gonna cook down parsley whole chickpeas vegan or dairy yogurt and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil that is the stew and this is really amazing it's simple if I can do it you can do it. And I'll see you in the next video right there. Me, you, Stu, right there. <laughs>